Hello there, people. Uh, I don't really do gaming news usually. Like this is a this is a pretty rare occurrence for me. But I came across um, an article by The Guardian of of all um, of all publications. So I'm going to take this with a giant pinch of salt because I never really trust what The Guardian ever says. Let's be honest. But apparently. There's a gaping hole in our knowledge. The scientists are studying why gamers invert their controls. Now, the thing is, I've always considered that controller inversion is just a preference. I've never really thought of it more than that, really. Because, like, it's like saying to someone who prefers uh, vanilla ice cream that someone else is eating strawberry ice cream. Is the person eating the vanilla ice cream going to tell the person eating the strawberry ice cream that what they're eating is wrong? Probably not. I mean, you'll probably get some odd people out there that will do that, but I think most of us, at least us, us gamers, quote-unquote, gamers rise up, you know, we, I don't think we really care what other people prefer when it comes down to their preference, especially when it comes to controller inversion. Now, I, I usually hear that a lot of people say that they prefer inverted controls because they've grown up um, playing a lot of flight simulator games. And I can understand where they're coming from with that. Because, you know, I, um, I don't usually invert... Con me personally, me speaking for myself, I don't invert my controls for most games. I've played Star Fox 64, and I believe that game... Uh, by default had the controls inverted. There's no option to turn off um, uh, control inversion, meaning uh, down is up and up is down, if I recall. And it takes a bit of getting used to, but I got used to it in the end, and I played Star Fox 64, and I had a lot of fun with it. And I think that's roughly it. I think that's probably the only game where there's been inversion uh, by default. Now, some people uh, play uh, Mario Sunshine, for example. I believe in the latest version of the Switch um, version of Mario Sunshine. Um, it's it's standard uh, aiming controls, I believe. So people who wanted to do inverted controls can't do it. However, the GameCube version of Mario Sunshine had that option, I believe. So, that that was another thing I found out not too long ago. That's kind of a case of normal controls being a default thing. But Star Fox 64 had inverted controls and some people had to uh, get used to it. But I don't see an issue with this. So I read through the article, I, I, read, I read through it pretty quickly. Um, the, the article basically makes out that gamers do nothing but argue amongst themselves and flame each other because of preference. And I've never really ever encountered that. I, I, it sounds like complete BS to me. It just sounds like they're causing... This is what I hate about like journalism in general, especially with media representation for gamers, quote-unquote. They don't represent everybody, first and foremost. And secondly, it's presumptuous of them to just assume that everyone is going to take their word for it. Also, the fact that they're basically making out that there's this weird cyber war going on between gamers who prefer uh, inversion and non-inversion. It, it's complete BS. I, I don't understand why they're making it out like, like we all hate each other. It's very strange. But anyway, they basically said in so many words that they've ran like a consensus and it's aged between 18 to 35 and um, apparently they were going to do an IRL test or something like that uh, and then they basically said that we can do it online because of COVID of course they had to shoehorn COVID in there somewhere because this this article's got to be up to date quote unquote, I mean you could take out the COVID idea completely and just say that they've done it done it online. Why did they feel the need to highlight that it was IRL testing? Because um, test players, especially test players doing stuff online, it's been around for years. You can sign up for betas to games online and do a bunch of testing and, and stuff like that. 
a lot of games that have open betas usually mean that it becomes uh, a public um, beta, I believe. But then you do get the exceptional few that get invited to closed betas, and usually those are online. I, um, usually a lot of MMOs, I think, do that to an extent, or some online games do it. I, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but most games do that now. So I don't see the need why they had to plug COVID in here, because online testing has been a thing for years. Um, the, the the article just waffles on that there's a science behind it. I, I will agree that there is a science to how people's brains work. It's the same deal with, you know, with people uh, preferring certain tastes or certain, um, just certain options for certain things. I think people are looking too deeply into this, personally. I think, personally, that just people people's brains work differently and what one prefers and never prefers, I guess, or vice versa. I just think this article is just complete BS. I, I don't... Like, who, who, who wanted answers to this question? I don't think anybody does, really. I think it's... I think it's kind of silly. And to, in, and to basically imply that gamers are, are basically at war with each other is just silly. I mean, I mean, it is The Guardian, after all, and you shouldn't really take anything that these articles say seriously online. But I just thought it was just silly. Uh, I mean... I, I mean, I've heard people flaming over each other for certain d editions of games, and um, certain exclusives, and stuff like that. That stuff, I can, I can kind of understand, if you're disenfranchised, and uh, an exclusive for a certain game or whatever was promised and you didn't get it because the dev team pull out or they signed an exclusive deal or whatever. I understand people being disenfranchised with stuff like that, but nobody's getting mad at each other because Billy prefers to have inverted flight controls or inverted shooting controls as opposed to Adam who prefers non-inverted. It's just it, it's complete it's ridiculous. Uh, but uh, but apparently, you know, we're supposed to take these people's word as, as, like, as literal, I guess, because of the way that they write these articles out. Like, we're supposed to take them seriously. In any case, I, I hope you're all having a good day, <laughs> regardless, and uh, whatever this video is, you know, it's, it's just me ranting, I suppose, but, yeah. Um, there is no, there is no inversion war. Calm down, people. And, just don't listen to the media pushing this kind of BS narrative.